How do you plead? Not guilty. Everyone believes him. The judge, the police, the press. Everyone believes her instead of me. He was nine years old when the Russians invaded Poland. They sent him far into the north to a forced labor camp in the Arctic Circle. And finally, he made his way to England and put himself through medical school, God knows how. And nobody in the hospital could pronounce his name. It's a lot to live up to. He brought us up to be brave and never complain. And now he's an old man and he's got to listen to this. I never had a case like this. Morbid jealousy, yes, but in all my years in psychiatry... I... Dad, please, just don't waste your time thinking about why. I don't. I don't care why she's done it. Understanding her just reduces the severity of what she's done to us. To us and to poor Debbie. Such a long time since you were arrested and you didn't tell us. Maybe it's better we didn't know. Bethan? Your fault. Silly. I'm not clever enough to make it rain. It's your fault I was using a condom. This is the 21st century, Jan. Everyone has heard of safe sex. And what difference does it make anyway? Worked it out, Bethan. That morning I found the bins turned over and I said it was foxes, but it wasn't, it was her. She's gone through the bins and she's found the condom and she's taken it home and smeared it in her underwear. Yeah, and that's mad. No, mad! It's me getting locked up for something I didn't do! Because I slept with an airhead tart who didn't love me enough to go on the pill! Because you're so scared, yeah. And I know that's something you're probably never going to admit to. But you have got to stop taking this out on me. I 
When we first got together and we stayed in bed the whole time, I think maybe I was just trying to prove this was special. Prove it was somehow meant to be or something. Or maybe it just wasn't. I think I was just looking for somewhere to hide. All my life I've thought, you must never, ever let anything get to you. And nothing ever did. Until Maria Marchese. Until you, actually. We both betrayed other people for this, Jan, and I think we're paying for it. Everyone I love is paying for it, and you worst of all. I don't recognize myself, but I don't know why you stay. Because I remember what you were like before. Here, I can be that man again. Look, I can be better than him. Exactly. And that's a whole year after she said I raped her. So if we can prove that the third DNA trace is yours... Because my DNA is on the, the condom that she took from the bin. I can't have raped her in 2002 and her entire story falls down. Can we prove it before the trial? We hope so. They think I should sit here, throw a few drinks down me, and then walk away. I didn't quite say that. You know the deal. She claims she's a rape victim, she gets anonymity. I don't get that privilege. You know, my name is out there, accused of rape for all to see. I'm a doctor. I need to clear my name. I want to see that woman stand trial. Guess it isn't over. Mm. I still don't know what she really thought was going on. Perfectly obvious to me, she believes the whole thing. It's completely delusional. Sad, really. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oi, oi. Take us out. You're looking really well. I've upgraded to a better class of fiancé. A better way of life for you. I've hated you for so long. You wanted what I had and... Hey, careful what you wish for, right? It's over now, though. Yes. It is. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Debbie, I know you didn't have to put yourself through the trial. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I feel like Bo to see you. Hey, the man of the hour! <laughs> Thank you. 